Hey, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Manual Focus, and today we're gonna be making some absolutely delicious hot dogs, all the way chili, you know what I'm saying, onions, coleslaw, slaw dogs, that's what we're making. We going on a new grill. I got my coleslaw, you can get this, like I said, already pre-shredded. That's what I went with, a bag of coleslaw mixture. I got a cup of mayo. We're gonna put that in there. Got a tablespoon of sugar. And then I got two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And we're gonna get this mixed in. Like I said, very simple recipe, fam. I like my coleslaw on the creamier side. So if you like it a little bit on the, you know what I'm saying, runny side, a little thinner, then you can reduce some of that mayo. But for me, I like a creamy coleslaw. So other than salt and pepper to taste, fam, that's pretty much all it is to an absolutely delicious coleslaw. Taste as you go, just to make sure, you know, everything is to your, your taste. But after that, fam, you in the game. Hit it with a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna hit it with some pepper. And fam, after that, give it a taste. And if it's ready to go, put this in the refrigerator and let it chill. And you in the game, fam. Man, it's hot out here. They got me sweating. But hey, we in the game. I got my school lady gloves, man. And let me tell you a little story. I got all this ground beef, man. I got about 30 pounds of ground beef in my freezer. Man, I went to Sam's um, about a month ago and I was walking, you know, I was looking and man, I seen this cooler of hamburger meat. Now, let me tell you, $30 for a 10 pound thing of chuck roast ground beef, 80-20, was mislabeled $3, fam. So I had to go pick me up some. So I got a bunch of ground beef right here that I got stored up and um, that's why you've been seeing some ground beef recipes like that baked spaghetti go ahead and look at this fam nice cheesy and you see that cheese right there go ahead and check that one out you've seen that chopped cheese check it out right there you in the game check that out if you haven't checked it out mm. yet but fam I'm in the game so this is about two pounds of hamburger meat and I'm gonna divide this. I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm gonna use about a pound or so for this recipe. And then I'm gonna put the rest um, in the freezer. I'll probably cook it up tomorrow. So we got a pound of meat right there. So we're gonna hit it with a little bit of pepper. And I wanna season this before I put it on the smoker so I can get some of that seasoning in there. Well, after we take it off the smoker, I'm gonna finish with, with my hot dog chili seasoning right. So my special blend that I'm gonna put in there but I just want to get some salt and pepper to give it a little bit of flavor while that smoke hits that ground beef. So we'll get everything mixed in and then we just gonna form a ball. And I know you guys probably seen that over the pot chili. So that's pretty much, you know, the concept is to smoke, you know, big meatball. We're not gonna brown it in a Dutch oven or nothing like that. We just gonna put it on that smoker and let this meat get some smoke on it. So we're gonna form this ball. And then we're gonna get this bad boy on the smoker. Now fam, this doesn't have to look all, you know, gourmet or whatever. Just like this, you got your meatball, it's ready to go. We're gonna put it on the smoker. Now, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be rolling with. Now we're gonna be trying to go in the sweet spot, 250 to 275, right? But you already know, I'm learning this offset smoker, so we might have a little, you know, temperature swings here and there. But we're gonna try to keep it in that range and we're gonna get this bad boy on the smoker. All right, fam. Hey, let's look at this. Look at that right there, fam. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? Fam, we've been running at about 250, 275 strong, and I'm just gonna get me a little reading in here, see where we at. We're about 120 or so. The very center 120 123 so we'll rotate this around but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our beef franks on the smoker 
And what I'm rolling with today is some post oak. So a nice little flavor, not too overpowering. All right, we got that situated. We're gonna let this hood back down. And we're gonna be in the game, fam. So if you never ran an offset smoker, you gotta manage that fire. You gotta make sure everything is going. You gotta keep that fire going. And then you gotta keep your smoke, you know, clean. So as you can see here, that stack got a nice little thin layer of blue smoke. And as I add enough log in there, it's gonna fire back up, you know, a little bit more smoke. But we're in that good zone, 250, 275. So we're rolling along good. We're gonna get these and finish these bad boys up. And then we're gonna sauce up this chili get them situated and win the game, fam. All right, fam, here we go. It's got me a new little log in there. Well, let's check this tip. It should be about 150 or so. We are at 150, so we're gonna pour this hamburger meat. Like so. Let me let you see that right there. Absolutely fantastic. Now, we're gonna break up this hamburger and we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients in this chili. Take a look at this right here. I know it's still a little bit hot, but you got a smoke ring right there. All right, fam, first we're gonna go in with a can of tomato paste. Then we're gonna hit it with about a half a cup of ketchup. A tablespoon of yellow mustard, a couple of dashes of W sauce. I'm gonna hit it with about a teaspoon of chili powder or so. Then I'm gonna do the same with some onion powder. Then I'm gonna go in with a half white onion diced. And then we're gonna start mixing some of these ingredients. What we do, I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of water. We're gonna get everything mixed in. And this is smelling absolutely delicious, fam. Now, some people, they put their onions on at the end, but hey, you can do whatever you like, fam. And then we got a salt and pepper to taste. So we're gonna hit it with a little bit of pepper. And then a little bit of salt. And get everything mixed in. And then we're gonna place this back on the smoker for about I say about 10 minutes or so as we wait for our franks to get finished smoking and then we're gonna be in the game fam just get everything nice and hot and ready to go so we're gonna put this back on the smoker and we'll see you guys in a little bit and we forgot one ingredient we need a couple pinches of sugar just to balance out that acidity of this chili All right, we get that mixed in and then, fam, we're gonna be good to go. We'll let this roll. All right, fam, we got everything off the smoker. Look at that chili right there. Man, it smells absolutely delicious. And then we're gonna go over to these Franks. And they look good. We gotta assemble us some hot dogs, right? Now, what I'm using, I'm using like a mini sub roll. And for the reason, you know, the store bought. You know, hot dog buns, man, they tend to fall apart on you. Mm. So I just want to go with that. Give me a little beefier, you know, exterior that we can work with. But look at that right there. Perfect. And this is a quarter pounder, you know, beef frank that I'm going with today. But you see how perfectly that fit in there? Doesn't that look amazing, fam? That just looks fantastic. All right, let's get everything assembled. So we're gonna go in one with chili. With that smoked chili. And then in my focus fam that remember Sandy's hot dogs with the iconic slaw dog. that right there yes sir uh -oh. a little fumble but hey we recovered all right fam lastly we're gonna hit one a little bit of that ketchup and mustard just 
like so. And fam, there you have it. You got your absolutely delicious smoked hot dogs with smoked chili, slaw, if you like it, and you in the game, fam. All right, fam, there you have it. You got your absolutely delicious smoked hot dogs, and you already know what we gotta do. We gotta give this bad boy a taste test, and what we gotta do is we gotta pick which one we gonna taste this, right? So hold on one second, let me pick it. Hey, you already know, we made that slaw. You already know I gotta get that slaw dog, right? So here we go, fam. Look at that right there. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? It's huge, quarter pounder, Frank. Got the chili powder on top and the slaw. Man, we in the game, fam. So we gonna get this bad boy taste this. Hey, cheers, fam. Mmm. Hey. Now that fam, that's pretty delicious, man. That smoke flavor on that Frank hitting it with that chili and then touching it with that coleslaw man that's absolutely amazing fam that's delicious fam man, first time on that paco smoker absolutely phenomenal now, i'm gonna tell you i was fighting with that fire trying to get it going trying to keep it steady but you know as you get more cooks on it we in the game fam so if you're new to the channel and you like this content, go ahead and smash that like button and then smash that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so you know when I release my content. And by the way, I premiere my content every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And for the Focus family that's been riding me for a while, hey, thank you so much. And we'll see you guys on the next recipe. And you already know what I got to do. I got to smash into these smoked hot dogs, that smoked chili, and that coleslaw. And I'll see you guys pretty soon. I'm about to roll out. Peace.